What's happening, y'all? Welcome back. It's time to wake up from our little cat nap and see the outside. Kitty family. sealed up. How did I get down there? I guess where I dropped through was just like a, uh, I don't know, I guess like a drainage type thing, and the robots just knew they didn't have the technology to climb out that way, but like, they still should have, well, it was pretty far down. You didn't really have sunlight once I got down there. What is it? I hope we get some like credit scenes or something. I want to see like the other companions make it out. The rest of the cats. Oh man, what an experience though. That was like, I mean, I really, I can't think of another game that I've played that's like this. Just the way it's, because in a sense, it's pretty much a like narrative adventure almost. You know, the story is, you know, we're trying to make our way back to the outside and it's fairly simple with what we have to do and a little bit of interaction here or there but I mean with a an open approach to solving your issues I mean none of the puzzles were, were particularly hard but still you know it wasn't just like you know press A press B you actually had to figure stuff out a little bit Ugh. but um so let's talk about it um so visually the game was very beautiful um Lots of vibrant colors, definitely had a bit of that, like, kind of cyberpunk thing going on with how it looked. Let me lower the credits. Um, so, you know, good good use of color and design in the world and whatnot. Uh, and then with that, I think, kind of tying in the audio design, considering we didn't really have a whole lot of dialogue, I think the the robo dialogue or you know whatever you want to call it i think that was done pretty well you know it's kind of how I don't know, it's how i figured how these robots would be sounding just like little jumbles kind of their own made-up language that's something similar to to how english sounds but you know I mean, well i don't know not similar to how english sounds i don't know the, the cadence of the speech sounded like a real language versus just like beep beep boop bop beep you know like it 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 was perceivable as a language versus gibberish, I think is the thing I'm trying to say. Um, from a gameplay perspective, I mean, it was pretty simple. Uh, what is this? Cats? Two cats died while they were making... What was this? One, two, three cats died while they were making this game? Jesus, what is happening? Um, the gameplay itself was really good, but I do wish some of the puzzles were a little... Oh, just a little more evolved, you know? Um... I mean, you had some of the stuff in the city that was a little tricky. Like when we first got to uh, the very first city and we were, you know, kind of wandering around trying to find people, that took a little bit of a while. But I think some of the later game sections, I think having the puzzles just be a little bit trickier uh, or maybe require a couple more steps would have been fun, just a little bit more engaging. So I think the most engaging one we had uh, was where we had to go into the bar, get the bricks, drop the bricks on the guy's head. That guy wakes up, run, jump in the box, get carried into the hat place, get the hat, get the hat to the guy. That one took a minute. Um, or the one where we were manipulating the stuff inside the studio. 
to be able to get across. But aside from that, the puzzles were, a lot of them were like really simple or just, you know, uh, scratch something to break it. So I think they, that was an opportunity they could have improved on for sure. Are we about to, oh wow, no post credit, dang. I thought there would have been something. Um, speaking of other, other improvements, I think a, uh, a post credit would have been nice, you know, show him getting back to his little, <clears throat> his little cat family, you know, regrouping with everybody. I mean, we, yeah, we made it outside, but you know, do, do the other robots, do they try and come out here now? Do they make it out here now? What about his little cat family that we saw at the start? Do we see them again? Like, this doesn't seem like the kind of game where they're like, that'll happen in the sequel. <laughs> like, I don't know, it seems weird to, to not, like, is this, this, this is very much an experience type of game. You know, you, nobody's like, oh man, sure you the sickest gameplay. I'm going there to play it for that. This is the kind of game you, you play to experience the game and the story and, and just kind of vibe out with it. So it seems a little weird for them to not close the loop on, uh, on the companions. And, you know, is he just out in the world by himself now wandering around? So I don't know. Um, Audio design in general, I think, was pretty good. Uh, the meows were adorable. Just, you know, literally a, a ode meow. Having a dedicated meow button is amazing. So, that was a lot of fun. I definitely do want to, like, boot this back up and just mess with my cats. Just, you know, put it on the big screen. Ugh. Put the volume all the way up and just sit there and meow and watch them slowly creep over and look at the screen and try to figure out what's going on. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else. Um, I mean, there's really not much to talk about. It wasn't an incredibly long game. Um, at the same time, I don't think every game needs to be. And I've seen a, a couple people, they're like, game's only five hours, you know, that's that's BS. Uh, there should have been more, and it's like, but did it need more? You know, like, I don't think every game needs to be a 60-hour or even a 20 hour experience for that matter. Sometimes it's nice to play something that's a little bit shorter just to, you know, enjoy it and then move on to something else. Not everything has to be a, you know, massive open world experience. And for something that's shorter, this was definitely pretty enjoyable, at least to kind of break away from the other stuff we've been playing lately. Um, all in all, I think I'd, I'd probably give it like a nine out of 10. Because like I said, I think they could have definitely made a couple of the puzzles a little more engaging and also you know how I said at the very end there uh, just seems weird that they didn't really close the loop on the story because I mean I don't know if I would constitute this as like a feel good game but it's very much a like relax and vibe game and then that ending was kind of like and he made it outside and it's like well what about everything else <laughs> what about the other cats what about that like I want to know what, what's you, you get me involved in all these characters you don't tell me what happens to them um, so you lose a point for that, but this was definitely fun. Definitely a really chill, just kind of unique indie experience. So, um, anyway, we're going to wrap things up here. Up next is more than likely tarnishing of Juxtia. It looks pretty good. It definitely looks really, really slick from the gameplay at least. So I'm going to actually go ahead and get started on the first episode of that. That'll be up. Uh, up. I might even just do that later today since the, this last episode is only like 10 minutes or so. Um, and hopefully that's good, because if it's not, then I'm not sure what our next series will be, but I'll figure it out. So thanks for tuning on in, and I'll catch y'all later with more.